In this video, I'm going to talk to you today about the market again. If you haven't watched my previous videos about the market, go back and watch those. The biggest question I'm still getting about the market right now is, Tom, is the market going to crash or when is the market going to crash? <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Olsuski with Caldwell Banker and Team Olsuski. I get asked this question because they want to time our sale or purchase based on what's going to happen in the market. So right, markets go up, markets go down, real estate, stock market, Bitcoin, they all do the same thing, right? So we've seen huge price appreciation in the market over the past couple of years, haven't we? And the market can't sustain this forever, right? So what's going to happen? Especially it can't sustain it unless wages go up and we have economic growth and all sorts of other factors happen. Then maybe it could sustain it still for a while. But without those, it's going to slow down at some point. Seems to be slowing down a little bit right now, but that's seasonal. I mean, we have some slowing this time of year. It's, it's, we see this every year. So the best way to talk about this is to really contrast the difference between the 2007-2008 market and the market we're in now. Back then, before the crash, which definitely was a crash, we had a huge price appreciation like we're having right now, <clears throat> right? It was huge. I had purchased a new home that took them a year before we could move in, and on paper, we had made 100000 However, we also had predatory lending during those times. We had over leveraged properties, so people were actually able to get loans for higher than what the property uh, appraised at. Predatory lending basically means that they were giving loans to people that shouldn't have gotten them. They didn't have great. They didn't have good credit. Right now, you have to have a much higher credit score. I believe it's something like 150 points above what it had to be back then. They were financing people that didn't even have jobs. We had a saying back then in the real estate industry, if your client fogged a mirror, you can get them a loan at that time. That's not happening right now. Interest rates were higher than they are now. People were using their homes as ATMs to go buy cars and boats and go on vacations and all sorts of things. We're not really seeing that right now. There are some people doing that probably, but not like they were before. Uh, people are smarter. We were also seeing a ton of adjustable rate loans. That was another problem. We don't have that now. Where people would get into an adjustable rate with the hope that they could refinance, then payments got too high, and homes lost value, and it was a big problem. I had to help a lot of people do short sales to get out of homes they could no longer afford. So what we did, we have forbearance issues in the market right now because of what happened with the pandemic, right? A lot of people did go into forbearance. So right now we have approximately 1.6 million homes in forbearance in the United States, and that's nationwide. A million of those homes are predicted to go into foreclosure. That does sound like a lot, doesn't it? However, remember it takes the banks a while to actually foreclose on homes, uh, which buys the homeowners uh, some time to, to get the home sold. The other thing is next year, they're predicting be somewhere between six and seven million homes in the United States will actually sell. So if we have, worst case, one million homes going to foreclosure and six to seven million to sell, we still have a lot of homes that are not going to go into foreclosure. And the reason for this, again, is equity. People have a lot of equity in their homes right now. Yeah, there may be some 
uh, that will have to foreclose, but you know, you may have more equity than you know. So if you want to know how much equity you actually have, give me a call or there will be a link below you can use to put in a request. So we're seeing a lot of cash in the market due to the amount of equity people have in their homes. And then there's just a lot of cash in the market, big companies buying homes. Banks are making good loans now. They're not making those predatory loans. You have to have good credit now. You have to actually have a job. So we're not seeing the same things that we did in the 2007, 2008 crash. Now, I, I didn't really answer the question of when is it gonna crash? I don't know when it's gonna crash. No one knows for sure. And it just may slow down into a normal real estate market. Probably when interest rates increase enough that some buyers can't qualify for a loan that they would need. Markets go up, markets go down. So if you have been on the fence about buying or selling, now might be a good time as we currently have a pretty good market and all predictions that I have seen so, so will 2022. I will be publishing a short market update video for Riverside County shortly. If you wanna know anything more or if you have any other questions about this subject, please reach out to me via text, email, or send me a Facebook message, whatever works for you. I'm here to answer your questions. Don't listen to all the media stuff. So until next time, happy holidays, stay safe, and remember it's important who you work with.